Hello everybody, I'm Gucci Play and welcome to the last episode on the Resident Evil. Yes, that's right everyone. It's the last episode on Resident Evil. And of course, if you've seen the, the last episode, well, we literally done everything that we can. And what we, what we see, it looks like we're gonna face the final boss, the Tyrant. And I believe the Albert went, and then is uh, is I believe the moment when Albert West shows his true colors against you know Jill and the Star scene, you know, showing he's the ultimate master villain over there, everything, everything. <coughs> so seeing this is the last episode, so obviously I'm gonna use the most powerful gun down in my arsenal. Which is is a grenade launcher and the magnum. So, uh, and of course, since this is the last episode, so in the right after I beat the game, I'm gonna give my full review of the game. So stay tuned for that. So, let's further ado. Let's continue on this amazing game of the Resident Evil. And of course, not only my personal review, but also my thoughts as, to, as well. Like. Why uh, uh, about this game? Why like, why need to improve or you know what what else uh, I wish uh, if the capital made so anyway, left lounge. Fear again with this goddamn phrase. So since you're gonna face the freaking thing, so oops, no. Let me pick this. Maybe this. Of course, this. And oh man, I don't know if you're gonna appear more items to pick later. So you better save it. So I, it's better to say, you know, inventory. Yeah, that's a huge problem. Like, for example, I remember in the Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3, uh, there is a way to increase the inventory slot. Yes. The elevator is working, but in this game, you cannot increase the inventory, which is a bummer. Jill. Barry. Hey, you could have at least waited up for me. So Barry, you're gonna betray me or you're gonna help me this time, huh? Come on, I really think he would make a lot of trust on you to give your gun back against Lisa Trevor. And you say you wanna do it, so... Oh, wow, give me more ammo? Uh, looks like a... Uh, yeah, but still, it's better you use the grenade launcher. Is there more things here? Nope, let's go. There he is, there's Albert Wesker. Wesker! Really? Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Barry, you bastard! Don't Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. God damn it. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. Yeah. Come on, well, these you are low worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <sighs> you're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh. Well, he's a coward move, you know. Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. Of course I just not. I Barry for my personal interests. 
though both you and Barry seemed to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. You know, what is interesting, you can see if you, can, if you have a good eye, you can see the Albert Wesker's eyes originally it was blue way before the you know the con infected uh, has superpowers or the virus. And of course he wicked the tyrant. And yeah sure Barry betraying us, but he was really trying to betray to kill his family and of course a man was it's magnificent. Yeah, see, you can see blue eyes. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. Barry! Barry! Nice one, Barry! Forgive me. Of course! No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! Damn it, Barry. Why don't you just shoot with the freaking hand, Barry? Look at what you did. Now he's fucking loose, this bastard, uh, that tyrant. This is not good. Damn it! <laughs> Jill and Barry together in hell. You want a piece of me? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Kill him! Kill him! Premature. Uh, come on, Barry. Really? No, Not all by my own. You viral cultured freak. <laughs> nice, Jill. But come on, you leader all by your own. Ouch! Son of a burn! Oh my God! <gasps> oh my God! Oh yo 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 yo! This is not good. Burn, bastard! Burn! Oops! Now oh, come on! Burn! You done? Good. Uh oh, this is not good. Uh, I don't know if I use this. Uh. Ah, uh, what the heck? Why not? Uh, bastard! What a pathetic way to die. He saw something. Oh, observation notes. The discovery of the G, G virus. Ah, the discovery of the G-Vine was in fact 20 years after the demonstration of the projector virus. The prototype parasite which we had delivered from the laboratory in France was administrated for the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any sign of arterial reaction. Parasite? Wait, did it show us the, the nemesis? Oh my god, I think it is. I think it, it is the Nemesis. Because in the lore, it said Nemesis was, you know, using parasites to, you know, to grow, you know? Uh, the lack of any action was unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me now. The prototype parasite was incubated at the sample special in the body for 20, wow, 21 years? Oof, a long time, huh? Well, if I want to make perfect, it's not a easy way, right? Then, from the incubating stage, the prototype suddenly muted it. Evolved, maybe the more appropriate word to describe it. This observation gave me more insight in my research. Through the further modification and testing, I was able to de derive the method of the created G that surpassed the power of the T. Yes. In the in the in the Lord relationship with the G virus is way more stronger virus than the T virus. This was a breakthrough that would change the future of the build up as biological organic weapons history. 
I can't wait to see looks that on Alexis a knowing face when finally announced my research. But unfortunately I will have to wait few more years to completely verify my findings. William Birkin. Ah, looks like it's already foreshadowed the next villain of the next game of the of the franchise, huh? And Alexis is the character from one of the founders of the umbrella. Alexa Ashford. Well, let me see if there is something useful here. A pen you used to release an image of Electro King Lock. <gasps> Omo, we're gonna release Chris. Release it? Yes! The Electro King has been released. Oh, yes! Yeah, so remember that last episode we finally find Chris? So, even though we do all of that, Chris' cell is locked. And now I'm gonna release him. Barry! Barry! Uh, you're okay. Uh, Jill. Well, sorry. Of course it's okay. It was a big punch. Of me. Wesker. He's gone. He's gone. First, let's just get out of here. Come on, Barry. Let's go. Yeah, let's rescue Chris. Effort. Um, like I said, there's a lock, a lack of dialogue. Like, well, Chris was, uh, Chris was arrested. Oh, oh. Wow. Wow. Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry. Dang, he's fast. How did the he manage to release then? Go over there and activate the Sutter Circle sequences without really the notice. Well, to be honest, yeah, I'm gonna pick the Magnum, the Magnum, but not now because I first I'm gonna release Chris and well, on this place there's literally nowhere to no, there's literally nowhere. And for, oh, you son of a yeah, that's right, melt down bastard. Oh, you son of a. Well, at least I can't use the gun, but... Let's go, Chris. Let's get out of you here. Come on, Joe. Can run a little, little faster? The lock is released. Yeah, there's a lot of things which you need to improve if the game the game is gonna release again in the remake format, but a proper remake. Jill. Sorry about the wait. So everything's taken care of? Well, well almost. Now let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, what about update about Wesker being a traitor about Barry about the other stars Bravo team, you know, which you find like Captain Rico, Richard, and uh, where is Rebecca? See, there's a lot of things which, either if the Capcom make a, a proper remake of this game. Come on, let's go. Why do you mean, come on, let's go? You literally once held a captive for the entire game, Chris. Will you know why exactly where you're going? Faster, Jill. Well, since I had to. 
Where's the magnum? There you go, the magnum. And pick this and this. That's it. Let's go. I will, I will equip the magnum six. I'm gonna face final boss. Come on, come on, hurry! Really? You saw really? Where is the dialogue? Wait, Chris, where are you? Are you? What? Where are you being? Oh, wow! A lot, another ammo, shotgun ammo. Wow, they really kind of encourage you to use a freaking shotgun against the tyrant, huh? Oh my God! What are they gonna give me? Uh oh, I'm full. Free explain? Well, probably I'm gonna use this. I'm green up. Only this? Oh my god. Brand. Okay, let's go. There you go, both of you. Where were you? Uh oh. The elevator isn't receiving the power. The fuse. Okay, where is the freaking fuse? Ah, there's a the fuse, but I'm full, so. Ah, my goodness. Oh my god, why did they give. Oh my god, why the, in the middle of the other game, or, I don't know, in the halfway that the game will give me. Three minutes to detonation. Only three? Damn it! We're almost there! Jill, you just get in contact with Brad! No! We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Chris! Would you let me have my moments too? Your moment. Right. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. Your moment, Chris, you will literally be stuck in the entire game. Only now I release you. I mean, I don't know why the. But I wish in the. I don't know when the, in the when the module we reach in the in the residence, which is literally oh three minutes there, right? When you reach uh in the residence after you beat if it's, I don't know the plan forty two, you receive I don't know a a a a a pocket or a purse. To increase the inventory slot, it will be useful, especially on this moment. Ah, signal rockets. Fire rockets can I can single burn with this? Okay. So use this. Man, if I oh, man, come on, there's a lot of things we need to improve. Come on, Brad. You definitely have to see this. Hmm? Jill, you made it. Well, whoa. oh my God! Oh my God, Chris, you're such a useless. Don't. Uh oh, calm down, Barry. I got your help. Though. I, I still, I still have a magnum room too. Ah, you son of a bitch, that hurt. Oh my God, look at the freaking distance that I flew. Uh oh, reload, reload. Ouch! Oh. Uh oh, that's not good. <gasps> it's not good indeed. You know what? Hey! Uh. No! No! Get off me! You know, you know, Barry! Wow! Yeah, the defense act is so useful. Jill, use it! Kill it! Whatever it is! Thanks, Brad! But first, let me shot with the magnum would it satisfy 
Oh, nope. Uh oh. Okay, okay, okay. Play time is over. Let me pick this. The bazooka. Rocket launcher. Die to die, asshole. And end this episode. Boom, bitch! Finally, Brand, you do something useful. But Chris, come on, you're freaking useless. You shot a little bitch and then BAM! Yeah, that's it, I end the game. And uh, And uh, always, it always resists evil, always end with a bang. All the resistance you always end like, like this. Always end with a bang. And of course, with a sunrise. All every Resident Evil games that you finish, while you beat, he always with a bang with a sunrise. Always, always, it's it, it, always. It, it's a trademark of the Resident Evil. When you beat the game, where you have to be end with a bang and with a sunrise. And that's it? You're gonna say nothing? Resident Evil... Oh yeah, baby! Oh. I've managed to beat the game. And of course, since now I really... Uh, well, I've finished the game. Did you think I, I'm gonna beat the game with the Chris? Oh uh, no, because well, I I I can, man. I can, man. Uh, for me, it's, and plus it will change a lot of stuff. Only thing change with Chris is it have Rebecca. That's it. Nothing more. But that's it. But the rest is literally the same thing. So anyway, I hope you can. Open the. Yeah, I uh, can Jill, skip. You did a fine job. Seven hours! Dang, I built the game in seven hours? Well, if you think, well, if you think about it, the, mo the major reason why I took so freaking long is because I had to back and forth, back and forth all the freaking time! And not only had to back and forth to pick every single key items or ammo or uh, health items is to also to burn the freaking zombies and of course refuel the kerosene everything <sighs> but still uh, I killed 119 monsters I used 12 EQ bones which of course obviously which is literally the numbers of the my episodes of what I use ammo you 337. Well, it's because I killed a few zombies with uh, was a crimson hands. Another uh, was hunters, and of course, well, boss fights. Joe has new costume. You got a closet key. A new castle has been unlocked. You can change the dressing room. Uh, okay, where is the dressing room? I wonder. And it is is it kind of the same or the Reservoir 3? The Reservoir 3 is literally the same. You, when you beat the game the first time, well, we, you will never see this key, which you, you change the, the the outfit what you're wearing uh, in the game. In the, in the game, uh, I remember in the Reservoir 3 was the the you you use the const you the the constant of the. Uh, Regina or the, ma the main character of the Dino Crisis and you use Jill uh, the, 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 the stars uniform Jill from the first game the Reservoir 1 and I remember there is a council of Jill and is a police officer but wearing a skirt yeah it is one it is, I, I believe there is one I don't remember but but it's the same thing the only thing is well Unfortunately, since I beat this game, there's literally nothing else to do unless you beat the game with Chris. But I, like I said, I won't do it again. Otherwise, what else gonna do? Nothing. It's literally the same story. Only difference 
uh, that I say is, is, is the is, is appear Rebecca. So anyway, I beat the game. So anyway, I beat the game. Now it's time for the review and my thoughts about this game. Oh, the menu is changed once again. Oh, now you can easily. Oh, wow! Now you can easily uh, select the difficulty of the game. Now have the uh, strange questions at the beginning of the game. Huh. Gallery. The moves. And in jail. Wait. There's a multiple engines. Oh no! I don't want to to search about this. <sighs> Yeah, I think that's it. So anyway, and so anyway, time to give my full review about this game. Wow, wow! Finally, I managed to beat this game. And yes, I know what you're saying. Oh wait, but you beat this game on the easy mode. Yes, I know. But hear me out. Like I like I said before, in the literally in the first uh, in the beginning of the game. This is the hardest Resident Evil game that I've ever made. Not only this game, Resident Evil Zero is also considered the hardest Resident Evil to beat, you know? And like I said before, I never managed to beat this game on the PlayStation 1, the original game. And even though, technically speaking, since this game is a remake, poor or con remake, there is literally a not a much difference. The game exactly is the same about the original game. Only thing, only difference. Well, if you play with Chris, well, I don't know if it's the original game. If you play with Chris, a uh, Rebecca will appear. Uh, Rebecca will appear. I don't know if the original PlayStation One one, but in this game, in this version, a uh, Rebecca pack appears. And now I don't remember the Barry. Yes, Barry cutscenes. Everything what we saw is, I think, is new, is included. I don't remember this from the original game. I believe. I believe, but only thing to put is not only new semantics, especially when they appear Rebecca for Chris and Barry for Jill, is the deficient items like the dagger, the 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 battery, which is super useful. Against the enemies hold and uh, hold against you, especially. But for example, if the enemies has a, I don't know, the moment the moment they pin you down and you're gonna attack you, you you consider an instant kill or something, or in the case of the zombies, well, to you know to let, do not let the zombies pick you, to bite you. But it's still, it's literally is the same game. So I don't know. I consider. This game is a remake, but 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 after all, if I think it's the major reason why you say this game is a remake, is because well, look at the graphics of the game compared to PlayStation. Yes, it's a literally a, a leap graphical achievement compared to PlayStation One. Era. After all, this game is a remaster of the GameCube. Yes, this game is original from the GameCube. It was. A game came exclusive, exclusive. So I, I which I kind of surprised in that time, uh, game QA was so popular that even Capcom wanted to put a horror genre game into the game queue, which is Nintendo is really famous for more like friendly family, a you know fa a family uh, audience, you know. But it's still. It's, but it's still is a but it still is is a, a great game, you know, and it still there's a lot of things, which you see like I said it's a remake, but it's not like nowadays. And nowadays remakes it has to be something else. Remake has to be yes, the story has to be continued the same, but the game overall has to completely change so much so. See in the Resident Evil 2 and the Resident Evil 3, and of the Resident Evil 4, the remakes. They literally totally different the the, the 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 original game. 
Even Resident Evil 4, which, you know, Resident Evil 4, there's a tons of remasters. There's a tons of remasters. Come on, are you playing on my channel the remaster of the Resident Evil 4 in the 360, you know? And there is also a remaster of the remaster <laughs> in the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So, even though we literally see how uh, the, the games of Resident Evil 4 was, it is still a, a, a success. But the couple of you know what? They can make it, pick the re original game and make a remake of the 4. And look at what happened. It's a great game. It is. I, well, of course, I never see any playthroughs, anything. I only see the the original, the official statement from Capcom. Because I want to play the original game, the original 4 remake for myself. I want to experience for myself. And of course, is the gameplay. I could say, well, is literally outdated. You know, is uh, camera fix on the scenario depends on the places. And of course, uh, and of course, you can hear the zombies while you don't know where they are, which is is the scariest part of the game, or the or the or the old games or the phrases of the original ones. You know, and another thing which. It put like a, a kind of challenge is you have to burn the zombies. You, the, yeah, sure, you kill the zombies, and the zombies die, fall down, but it don't disappear. In the old games, the residual after the zombie collapse and die, it just you know it uh, kind of disappear in the scenario. You kind of don't need to worry about the zombies over there. But in this game, the zombies still there, unless of course it happens at critical headshots. Which happens, luckily. But the zombies still there, so all you need to do is to burn the zombies. Is to burn the zombies, which is uh, it, unfortunately it wastes your time and of course wastes your inventory slot, which is annoying. And that's why you handle back and forth all the time. But it's still, it's an amazing game. I recommend to you all to the game to play this game. I really wish um, Capcom make a remake of this game. So anyway, thank you guys so much to to watch this amazing episode of the, the entire franchise of the Resident Evil One. I hope you all enjoy this game. If you do enjoy, I appreciate to you all to give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and of course put your comment down below your thoughts about this amazing game. And of course, remember, folks, here we are all winners. And stay tuned for the next game we're gonna play. And we'll see you there.